That's my hair. That's my hair. That's my hair. Hey, everybody's seeing you act like that. Good morning, everybody. It's Ivanka at our Kentucky home. It has been raining a little bit this morning. Not a lot, but we did get a little rain this morning. It's quit now. And I am on my way to the chiropractor. Old saw bones is what John calls him. So we're gonna see if I can get my spine adjusted a little bit. And there's the Cumberland River. And that's the train bridge right there, Norfolk Southern. And now I'm getting ready to cross Pittman Creek Bridge. you can see them, but they're big giant bears. I am home from the chiropractor and I cracked pretty good so that's good I came up here to as soon as I got home to make sure that Puddin and Jojo were still inside they had still don't bark at him they had still been getting out somewhere Jojo was out yesterday so back up boys so we came up here. John had um, had fixed part of the bottom of the fence down the hill there, and so this up here at the top was the only thing that we hadn't reinforced or he hadn't reinforced. So we came up here yesterday evening and did. He brought some more of those metal bars up here that he had down at the garage, and we attached them. To the rest of the fence where he hadn't gotten before because that was the only places we could figure out and still you could not see any evidence of where they were getting out at but obviously they were pushing out some little hole somewhere so uh, we did that yesterday evening and he reinforced this side down through here too 
Um, and probably while I was gone to the chiropractor, the girls, at least one or both of them, would have been out, and they weren't out. So hopefully, hopefully that Remy did it. Remy did it. And, but I'm sure I'll know by the end of the day because every day at least one, at least one or both of these little girls had been getting out. Ow! Abe, stop biting me. I love you, buddy. Quit biting me, though. So we'll know probably by the end of the day if, if they don't get out. Um, we're going to have a problem if you don't quit biting me. Stop it. Oh, you little stink pot. Let me just scratch you. Don't bite me. <laughs> Abe keeps nibbling me. And now you're going to rub your head on me. Be careful with those horns, buddy. Be careful. He wants to nibble on my clothes. He must like my jeans today. And he's <laughs> sneaking up behind me and biting me. Now it's the shirt, huh? Uh, okay, let go. Let go. I was going to talk to the girls. I sat down on this block so I could see Jojo. And, of course, I've got Abe in my lap. Hello. Now, I can't see for the sun, Jojo. Now Jojo's nibbling on Mama. Oh, look up. Hello. It's almost impossible, you guys, to read a video. Hello, Kino. Abraham. Love you, buddy. You're a good old goat. Yeah, you're a good old goat. Well, you're not old. Ow, he keeps biting me. Stop. Abe. Everybody's going to think you're not nice. He's so sweet. He's a love bug. I've got Kino in my lap now. but um, And Abe gets jealous of these boys. He wants to headbutt them every time they get near me because he wants all the attention. I'll give you attention, buddy, but you got to quit biting me. Jojo's, she's still hiding behind me back here. Here comes Dozer Boy, too. I'm getting mauled, but I like it because they're so sweet. They're so sweet. Let's see who's back here. Who else back here? Um, Abe's got my shirt, and Miss Jojo, she's, I think Abe crowded her. Sorry, I keep putting my, okay, don't get the skin. That's my hair. That's my hair. That's my hair. Abe. Everybody's seeing you act like that. Everybody's seeing how you're acting. Quit. <laughs> so, Jojo, her is good as new now. Yeah. See, my belly's all better. I'm all better. And this pudding, she... Oh, you're going to play hard to get. Abe, she wants you to move so she can give Mama some love. Yeah, she's a love bug. She comes running to Mama. She comes running to Mama wanting lovin's. She's such a sweet little thing. Jojo is too. She's, um, where you at, Jojo? Oh, I don't know where she went. But Jojo got a little bit, um, skittish of us. Because for two days there, we were having to catch her to give her that, um, that, drench that we were giving her in the B12 we were having to to catch her and get a hold of her and, and of course force that stuff down her throat and she she kind of has been a little bit leery of us but not too bad she's like please no more stuff but she's not needed any more medicine we gave it to her for two days and she's fine this baby oh you like that don't you isn't she cute? Abe finally moved, so you could get some attention, didn't he? He's a real attention hog, that Abe is. 
and he's probably put little bruises on my backs of my arms and backs of my legs where he keeps pinching me with his mouth yeah mama just came up to make sure everybody was still where they're supposed to be did we fix your escape route I sure hope so because you don't need to be out it's not a big deal it's not a big deal that much when the girls get out when I'm home which is the majority of the time but you know there are times that I'm gone or you know John and I are, are gone together and um, I sure don't want them being able to get out when I'm not here because you know if we're gone for several hours or something then I would be afraid of what might happen to them right now because her and Jojo are so little they when they have gotten out they stay right next to the fence up here and once they get out it's like they don't want out they're trying to figure out how to get back in but they they can't get back in so um, but you know as they get older definitely don't want them getting out and apparently what it wherever they're getting out at is was really really small because Abe never got out and he would have been out with them I'm sure and the dogs so it must have been a little bitty hole for these little bitty girls say so hopefully that's fixed now mama won't have to worry so little miss as you guys know miss princess is no longer with us and this is Larry's new roommate she's beginning to get a few feathers back I know it looks awful you guys but um, it looks much better than it did she if you didn't see it she was the one that uh, the other girls picked on over there so much hey Larry and her they kept that especially on top of that one wing over there she thinks I've got some I didn't bring anything baby she was the one that they were picking on so bad and so after princess died she's the one we put in here with Larry because we knew he wouldn't you know be plucking her feathers out like those girls did and like I said it still doesn't look good but it is believe it or not it looks a lot better and I can I can actually see a, some new little feathers coming back on there it takes a while to get all those back but but they're doing fine her and Larry are our new roommates mm -hmm. looks like a bunch of these chickens are oh look at you come running I don't have anything I didn't bring treats I'll bring you some up later they've been picking on you haven't they mm-hmm there's Willie they were eating don't let me interrupt go ahead and eat hi pretty girl hi pretty girl I'll bring the treats up after a while okay we usually do that in the evening don't we so this one I noticed they've got a lot of her feathers plucked out and that's not molting they've been picking on her I think that's the one there's been a a few different times in the last several days that I've caught them with her I'm sure it's her down in the in one of the corners and just pecking her so we'll have to keep an eye on her if it gets much worse we'll have to maybe separate her too and she's the only one really looks like this one's got just a few missing off of her back, but not bad. Ivy. You looking at the chickens? Here comes Annie, too. Hey, Annie. Oh, you're getting... You're able to reach some of that, aren't you? That's good. Yeah. I was getting ready to say we need to spray that, but... And we probably will have to, but... You can actually reach a little bit of it. Oh, somebody's up here wanting me to look at her. Well, yeah, look at you. You're beautiful. They're all over there looking at the dogs. <laughs> I didn't bring anything. I'll bring some later. Uh, she's going to peck you, Ivy. She's like, get your face over here. Oh, that's cute. They're real curious. What are you doing up there, Ruby Sue? Well, there's Miss Annie. Annie's always 
wandering somewhere. What's up there, Ruby Sue? Let's check on you guys. How's it going in here? Huh? How's it going in here? Hey, Hank. He's a gorgeous boy. Yeah. You're cute, too. I don't have anything. No, just like I told the rest of them. After a while. In a little while. Here comes the nosy ones. Hello, Abraham. Fancy seeing you here. Just look at that mug. Oh, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. My dozer boy. Look at Abe trying to get between us. He does that, don't he? He's wanting to headbutt you, dozer. Don't take that from him. Don't take that. Oh, look at this cute little dog in the doghouse. It's a Jojo. It's a Jojo puppy dog. I ain't gonna get ya. <laughs> yeah, I washed my hair this morning. I think they like it when I wash my hair. They like the smell of it. Gonna need washed again now. Look who's outside. They'll probably run inside. They're still really skittish. No, don't leave. Don't leave, it's Mama. Stay. Stay with me. Okay, don't. Anyway, they are getting used to being outside now. Um, oh, they're gonna come back out. Yeah, you can come out, it's just Mama. I'm your mom. I'm your mom, come on out. Come on out, babies. Well, now they see Annie. Annie, go away. You're scaring them. So what was I was going to say was, of course, you know, they'd been inside that whole time. Hadn't been outside until last weekend when we got all this ready. And we're not... They wanted to kind of stay in the coop at first because they were just, you know, never been outside, didn't really know what to do. And so, of course, they have no food and water inside the coop. So now they've gotten where when I come up in the mornings and raise that door, they're ready to come out, you know, because they're ready to get a drink and stuff. And they're getting used to it. So you saw when I come up here, they were out. So they figured out that being outside is... It's pretty nice. It's much better than being cooped up in a in a room with no real outside air, you know. So anyway, that's what my morning has consisted of. It's just early afternoon now. It's not time for you to eat either. It's not been long since breakfast. Everybody thinks that if they see us, it's time to eat. It's not always time to eat. No, not all the time. There's my bucket of flowers that I got yesterday. Part of them have died already. And hopefully the chiggers died off of them. But I'm not, I don't, I ain't, I've not touched them since I put them up there. Because I had, I don't know if y'all know about chiggers. But really to just look, you can't see them. And I, and I, just so happened I had my reading glasses on I was um actually I think I was sitting out here on the porch looking through the video I had gotten you know to see if I needed to what I needed to cut out and stuff so I had my reading glasses on and looked down and I could see them they are so tiny you know how little a seed tick is these are like a thousand times smaller than a seed tick and like I said, I wouldn't have seen them had I not had my reading glasses on. So I got to looking, and they were on my legs. They were on, I was looking at my little capri pants I had on, and you could, I could see them. You could just barely see them, but I could see them crawling on the fabric. So needless to say, I went straight in and threw all my clothes in the washer and got in the shower and scrubbed off. And you know, I've, I don't think I got a bite. So... Because I've not, 
I would know. I'd be itching like crazy, and I don't think I got one bite. When I was, I was shocked after seeing all them all over me. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share my morning and early afternoon with you. Let you see all the animals and what they're up to. And took you to the chiropractor with me. That's something different. So, I thought I ought to blur out their faces. I figured people wouldn't appreciate, you know being on a video they didn't know about so anyway i hope you enjoyed it something a little different don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already please comment on our videos like them um share them to your um social media i drew a blank there your social media sites and we would appreciate it very much so I will see you guys on the next video. God bless.